Seath the Scaleless, who betrayed his own, or as I like to call him, the pervert crystal lizard. Seath took a Lord Soul as a reward for betraying his dragon kin, and he's part of the pantheon of problematic disability as a sign of evil characters, because what made him turn on them is the fact that he is scaleless, naked and vulnerable, and thus mortal. Gwyn promises him all the power and magical research he could desire to find a way to gain the scales he craves, and in the process of that research, Seath kidnaps hundreds if not thousands of people and turns them into bizarre chimeras and monsters. He's especially fond of experimenting on fire keepers and maidens. And although he has to become a chimera himself, half dragon and half, I'm not sure, a starfish mollusk, I guess, given what's outside his arena, something with tendrils anyway, but he creates for himself a crystal armor and gains the immortality he's been looking for, fashioning himself into something almost seraphic or angelic looking in the process. And there's a moment for the player to question something here. If Gwyn was a guy who would give this crystal pervert free license to do whatever he wants to so many innocents, are we sure we want to fulfill his prophecy and carry on his kingdom? Food for thought. Subscribe to this channel for shorts or watch my full Soulsborne analysis series on my main channel.